How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. And, uh, a chocolate porter. Um, a cho chocolate Baltic porter, I guess. Um, it's a newer beer from Victory just came out, and that is their Deep Cocoa. Um, never heard of this because, like I said, just came out about a month and a half ago, I think. And it just made it in my area. Um, don't know much about it other than what I when I looked it up online just to see what kind of style it was. It was either an Imperial Porter or Baltic Porter. You're kind of, you know, splitting hairs there. But, uh, yeah, I love me some uh, Imperial slash Baltic Porter action. So I'm super excited to give it a whirl. And I like chocolate. Who the hell doesn't like chocolate? So, uh, yeah, as far as what it says in a bottle, uh, Victory Brewing Company, uh, victory for your taste. Uh, deep Cocoa, Porter Brewed with Cocoa Nibs. Um, this is bottled February 9th, 2015 almost exactly a month old uh 8.5 percent alcohol by volume uh good morning stuff dark roasted barley rich deep caramel decadent fruit tinged chocolate we've unlocked the mysteries of nuances of malts to deliver the luxurious and provocative flavors this complex and satisfying porter raise your glass and taste the victory of deep cocoa that's pretty much it well label wise it's cool victory's labels i dig um not the best in the biz um but they're really cool laid out thoughtfully pretty nice so i dig it yeah so there you go hopefully the cork comes out relatively easy i forget how victory corks come out some bottles are notoriously bad some are notoriously easy so let's see what the sucker is give it a good twist typically it means you can get it out which i don't think i'm gonna be able to so i'm gonna have to grab my uber ghetto wine opener here that I've duct taped up because I mean I'm classy like that you know and uh yeah Let's see what we got going on why ramble on camera yeah I never saw this in my area I haven't uh stopped at the beer store for about a week I know blasphemy and uh just uh kind of saw it picked it up figured why not so let's see Ooh, damn that's pretty damn dark right there Throw it in there pretty hard. Getting a nice, decent head out of it. Already has a nice color to it. Um, on my side of the glass, at least, there's like a, a, a two s distinct colors. There's this like really kind of creamy coffee colored top. Then when you get down there here, it looks almost like a espresso in color. It's like a definite line of separation as far as coloration goes, if you can see. But yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, color wise, it's dark. I mean, that sucker's pretty damn dark. Um, as you'd expect. But yeah, I can smell the roasted malt from here. So yeah, looks like a porter or imperial porter or Baltic porter, whatever. Let's see what she smells like. Wow, cocoa, cocoa out the wazoo combined with this really nice, sweet, almost not. It's like doesn't smell like a bittering kind of roasted malt, like an overt roasted malt. It's just like a sweet, nice, rich, dark chocolatey malt. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's chocolate malt on top of cocoa on top of chocolate syrup. So there's a ton of chocolate going on in there. Deep cocoa, you'd expect that. So that's a good uh, good starting off point. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge candy. That's dessert and glass. That's what this smells like. Super rich, super sugary, almost like a molasses kind of caramel going on in there along with the chocolate. Huge sweetness um, that smells absolutely decadent. So... Smells delicious, looks the part. Let's dive right in. Cheers. It's nice. It's nice. Not nearly as sweet in the mouth as it is in the nose. It's still a bit sweet, but it's not even close to what it's like in the, in the nose. That, um, the roasted malts there but it's not overbearing. The chocolate, the cocoa's there, um, but it is a little bit bitter than sweet, more like a bitter dark chocolate as opposed to like a uh, super sweet like cocoa. Nice mouthfeel to it. Decent, not overly dense, um, but it has a nice fluffiness to it. But yeah, it's actually a really nice beer. Expect a little bit more sweetness, a little bit more chocolate based off of the nose. But, again, it was so big in the nose that it's not subdued. It's just not as huge as it is, as it is in the nose. 
nice beer. Um, finish slightly, like I said, slightly a little bit of bitter on the finish. Other than that, pretty nice. Um, really nice beer. Uh, rating wise, I would give it a give it like an eighty nine overall. Um, if they could somehow bump up. Uh, the ABV on this, I think it would actually take it next level. Not that big. I mean, it's eight and a half, right? Did I say eight and a half? Yeah, eight and a half. If you had to push this up to about 10, 11%, I think it'd be uh, amazing. Just an extra bit of ABV would just bring out a little, a little bit more, make it pop a little bit more, and make it infinitely stellar. But yeah, really nice. Um, Imperial Porter, uh, Baltic Porter is kind of a stretch. Like I said earlier, splitting hairs, but it has more of a bumped up porter taste or porter mouthfeel to it, porter taste to it, as opposed to being a Baltic porter. I know pretty much a Baltic porter is just a jacked up, beefed up regular porter. There's slight differences. So, yeah, but overall, really nice beer. 89 overall, like I said, valued availability. Um, like I said, picked it up for the first time today. So, it was a major supermarket chain by me, Wegman. So, your mileage may vary, but if it's available at Wegmans, typically you're going to be able to get it, especially in Northeastern or even anywhere in Pennsylvania since it's Victory and Victory is Pennsylvania Brewery. So availability, I would give it a 8. And value, I think I paid, I paid $15.99 for this. It's probably a little bit more than what I wish to, would like to pay for it. Not wish, but well, wish and like to pay for it. So on a value scale, I'd probably have to give it like a 6. This beer, based off of what it delivers, what I'm getting from it, even though I rated it in 89, which is a really nice score, I want this beer to be more around the $12 range as opposed to like the $15, $16 range. So there you go, 89 overall. Decent scores on value and availability. Um, and yeah, really nice beer. I mean, if you're into porters and you want something a little bit bigger and you definitely want a chocolate presence there, this is definitely uh, up your alley. Yeah, or if you like um, Imperial Stouts and you want something that is dense not as big but you still want a little bit of abv there and you like chocolate again this is your boy um so there you go another review in the books uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the review uh if you did or you didn't or somewhere in between please leave a comment in the comment section below uh if you like check us out anywhere else on the internet you can facebook twitter instagram and untapped massive beers in all four of those places and yeah another review down so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully you're enjoying a nice imperial porter right now and uh Hopefully see you next time. Cheers.